Hey guys, it's David. I don't know how many of you remember me or recognize my voice, but it's been a long time since I posted content over here on Spontaneous Gameplay. And that's because I just got a brand new channel that got partnered with Yaus through the Livestream Director program. So I'm really happy about that and I'd appreciate it if you went and go and check out my videos on my new channel. Uh, some of you may have been subscribed to my old channel before. But for this gameplay it was pretty funny because there was a, a phase clan member in my game and I got the final kill cam on him. I mean it was a fall in and I did beat him with the PP90. Yes, boo hiss, overpowered gun. He was using a sniper rifle and I wasn't. But he did spam me with a Barrett at one point like with his rapid trigger finger. Now that wasn't cool. So anyway, enjoyed the gameplay and I've got some Xbox news to talk to you about about the new Xbox console, which has been nicknamed Xbox 720 at the moment. That's not going to be its official name, I wouldn't have thought, but that's just a, a rumoured press name for it at the moment. Uh, just something to give it a name really, so we're not calling it Xbox 3 or 3rd generation Xbox, something along those lines. So the first thing, now this is official confirmed thing leaked from Microsoft, is that the new Xbox is going to be using a Radeon HD 6670 chipset for graphics. Now if you want to go and look that up, or if any of you PC nerds and know what that graphics chipset is, you'll know it only costs around $80. Now I imagine Microsoft are doing that to keep their costs down. But what it does mean, it's not one of ATI's brand new graphics cards. The Xbox 720 isn't rumoured to come out until the end of 2013, so we've still got a long wait on this. But this is meaning, if we're using a current generation ATI chipset, it means that it's going to be two or three years old when the Xbox 720 actually comes out. Now, while this isn't a massive problem, because this is apparently six times more powerful than the previous generation Xbox, it does mean that it will never be able to outstrip a PC that's already at least two years old. So if you get a PC that's two years old at the same time as you buy your brand new Xbox, it's likely that your PC will be better if it's been built for gaming. So, graphics chipset that's two or three year old before the Xbox has even come out. That's not my kind of idea of how you should be building a system. But I suppose it takes a lot of development and testing and Microsoft know what they're doing. But the interesting part of this story is that chipset is only going to be 20% more powerful than the Wii U's chipset. Now this puts the Wii and the Xbox on a level playing field. There's no telling what the PlayStation 4 is doing yet. They're being really secretive, they're probably hiding in the background and creating the world's most advanced processor with 354 cores or something uh, just to try and outshine Microsoft. But that shouldn't matter if Microsoft gets to the uh, market first by releasing their Xbox first. But time will tell with that. But the Wii and the Xbox on the level playing field will make things a hell of a lot more interesting with the uh, interesting gameplay styles you get on the Wii sometimes. The pioneer in the new kind of input technologies. You saw them with the motion controls first uh, and then PS3 and Xbox copied in their own little ways with the light bulb sticks on the PS3 and the uh, wave your arms around in front of a moving camera on the Xbox. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But the most controversial thing, and this is where I want to really know your guys' opinions, so video responses, comments, I'll, I'll respond to whatever you throw at me really. But I've read a rumour, this is just a rumour, so don't take my word as uh, gospel here. But the most controversial thing is that Microsoft is considering, or we think they're considering according to this rumour, not allowing used games to be played on the console. So if you imagine these online passes that EA and other companies have been introducing to stop people using their games for a second time round on a second account, Microsoft are planning on in, uh, implementing that for all games. Now when I say planning, we don't know whether they are or they aren't, just to clear that up, I should probably not say planning. So while this is not good for companies like GameStop and GameStation, whatever you've got in your respective country, it is a, quite a clever business move on Microsoft's part, if you think about it. It's not good for the consumer at all, but for the companies that are making the games, they like the extra profits of selling brand new games all the time. Obviously they get no profits from second-hand games being sold, GameStop get all the profit, or whatever company we're talking. So, with exclusive titles, I imagine that the game companies will favour the console that blocks second-hand games. So all the exclusives will be moving over to the console we don't want, basically. Because we don't want game consoles that block second-hand games. But maybe you do. It's up to you. You bring your opinion across here and I'll be happy to listen to it. Uh, but I really think there needs to be some kind of uh, veto against 
this uh, problem of not being able to play second-hand games. Because sometimes you just don't think games are worth the brand new price, so you wait until they've been out a while and you pay your, your $30 less for the, the second-hand game. And you get your money's worth out of it, basically, so I'd, I'd like to see what happens with this. I'd definitely like to hear your opinions as well. The sum up really is, if they're blocking people from buying second-hand games, I mean, a lot of the time, I've bought a second-hand game and thought, wow, this is really cool, I'm going to buy some more games from this company. So they'll be losing those profits. And also, if people don't get the second-hand games, they're not going to make the money on the add-on content there either. Because what's going to happen is, people aren't getting the money back, so they have to buy a brand new game, which costs more, then they're not going to have the, the extra money left over for the add-on content. So, in my mind, they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot. But at the same time, they'll be making the extra profits on all the new games. So your opinions on that would be appreciated. And then if you found this helpful, definitely leave a like and a comment with whatever else you've got to talk about. And let me know if you like this format of making, giving you guys the news and what my opinions are on the current events within the gaming world. And uh, I'll get back to you on that. So thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.